Hello there, I'm Martin Logan and welcome to the Irish in the UK. Now, Coley Fallen was a huge part of Sean McDermott's GEA club in Warwickshire for many years. And recently the club organised a memorial day for Coley, who sadly passed away at a very young age. Now, we are off to meet some of Coley's family and members of Sean McDermott's GEA club. Travelled to far places, seen a million faces, tried to do as Romans do in Rome. Deirdre, can you tell me a little bit about Coley, your husband, how much he was involved with Sean McDermott? Coley was heavily involved with McDermott from the early 80s. He played himself at senior level and then when he retired from playing he went on to manage underage teams all the way through 10s, 12s, 14s and um, then he went on to manage the senior panel as well. Oh, Sean McDermott meant an awful lot to call it, didn't it? It was, it was his life. It was indeed, yeah. Any time there's anything involving Sean McDermott's call, would be the first one there, yeah. Now, tell me a little bit, obviously he sadly passed away at a very young age. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, well, we'd, be, we'd all been at home on the Sunday. We went out to lunch. Then we came back on the evening time and he's, he was just sitting in the chair and he was a heavy snorer and I said to him, don't you dare sit there snoring, I said, go on, up to bed. And he got up and he set his alarm for the morning and got to the top of the stairs and I could hear him gasping for his breath and then I heard a bang and I shouted, are you all right up there? But that was, well, that was it. My goodness, that must have been a horrendous shock to you and to your family. Yeah, it was awful. It all seems, still doesn't seem real, even today. Now, Eilish, of course, today's a great tribute to your dad here. There's so many uh, games going on and it's, it's wonderful. Yeah, actually, it's um, quite similar to a day that we used to hold at our local park, Partner Heron, uh, where we used to call, sorry, we used to gather for uh, a day called GAA for Africa. And the fact that now that a day similar to this is in memory of my dad, it's, yeah, it's definitely a great tribute. Yeah, and it's great to see so many teams from Ireland as well come over for it. Yeah, it's amazing. It's quite ironic, really. If Dad was here, he'd, he'd love days like this, seeing the Irish come over. And in the first year that we held the tournament, a local team from Dad's area actually came over, and it was a really, really good tribute. Keenan, did you get involved with Sean McDermott through your dad? Yeah, ever since I was able to walk, really, I had a ball in my hands. So as soon as I was able to walk and talk, I'm sure I had a football kicking it somewhere. And you, of course, played Gaelic football with Sean McDermott since you were in the underage. Yeah, right through. So I must have started under eights, under tens, under twelves, under fourteens. And my dad always used to follow me through as well as manager. So it was good to have that as well. And of course, you're following in his footsteps now, aren't you? You're keeping his memory alive here with Sean McDermott, playing in the senior team now as well. Yeah, definitely. Always will as well. Always remain with, with uh, Sean McDermott's playing. Maybe, maybe in the future as well, managing and coaching. See so how it goes. And Deirdre, of course, as a family, it's great that you're all here today and still heavily involved with Sean McDermott. Yeah, yeah, but it's part of our lives now. I grew, I grew up with Sean McDermott, then Coley was heavily involved and the kids have always been involved and we always will be. They're like our second family, really. Irish to the core. We have been many things to many men But that won't change the way we are But this one thing we know we can be sure Sean McDermott was first formed in 1957. The club has grown from strength to strength in those years. We run underage 17s, 19s, 21s. We've also two underage girls teams, under 12 and under 14s, a senior girls team and two men's teams as well. We play a partner here in Birmingham. Uh, that's where all of the competitions and games are played. It's a very family orientated club. Uh, Generations, first generation, second generation, and actually third generation children playing now at this moment in so time. Now, how did you first get involved with Sean McDermott and playing Gaelic football? Uh, I first got involved by my father bringing me out to uh, Glebe Farm many years ago. I think I was about nine years of age when I first started. Played at every age level all the way through. Uh, eventually managing teams and have now ended up as chairman of the club. Now today here, obviously, you've got such a lot of people here for this special Memorial Day uh, to remember uh, Coley Fallen. It's a special time for the club, isn't it? It's a very special time for the club. Coley was a, 
Much appreciated, much loved, well, well known member of the club. Today is all about Coley Fallen. So for today we've invited teams from Dublin. So we've got Central Vestas, Volunteer St John's and we've got Round Towers Clondarkin who have absolutely supported us brilliantly by bringing oh, it must be up to 100, 120 children to take part. We've had teams from Glasgow Gales who are just on the way back up north now. We've had teams from London, Parnells uh, and we've had St Lawrence's coming down from Manchester. So for a, 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 a tournament like this it's like a little bit like our ABC. Uh, that we do down in London. And of course it's a great tribute to Coley Falling as well that all you guys have got behind this, put in so much time, effort and everything to remember him as a great stalwart of your club. It is and you know I followed my young lad in um, Declan and he, I remember Coley walking down the pitch with two footballs in his hand and he would never ever have three or four because he kept looking for, into the bushes trying to find them balls that he kept lost, losing. But one of the things Coley did with the McLeans etc and many other people that supported Coley was he just thought bring the juveniles through and the more and more that we grew the more and more the other clubs had to grow and but Coley would go out and he would get every lad and girl including really up to a state of brilliant you know really passion to play Gaelic football go out and wear Sean McDermott's uh, shirt and pride but he was very very well respected you know he got a partner here and he was a great player senior manager for us also a county manager I believe for us as well um, sadly, when he did pass away, there was the club basically stepped up and says, "Look, we need to bring Coley." Coley had a passion just to bring the juveniles through, the younger players through. So we all set ourselves out the store. We would never forget, you know, Coley and the kids and the Irish lads as well. They always remember the tournament um, and the football and all the children's rides, which is you know for three pound, everything's free. Um, and for me, that's, that's, that's Coley, you know, the family are fantastic, as you, you've seen met, met earlier on, and that's who we really want to do it for. Um, and make a name for him, you know, make it really, really make him proud as he looks down on us to say, Gaelic football's still alive in Warwickshire, through Sean McDermott's. For after all is said and all is done, and the judgment day has come, we know that we were Irish to the core. We have travelled to far places. What a great day we've had here with Sean McDermott's GEA Club and what a lovely tribute to Coley Fallen. So many teams turned up from all around the country to take part in the games today. Well done to them all.